want to sit around the corner here. I expect he can do his uh, acting once again. <laughs> where it looks like he's actually hitting the Baron. He's actually doing it once again, just hitting his own teammates. And he's alive. Alive. He's alive because of the protection here from the rest of the team. This is a team that plays as a team. And Scout doesn't have his team around him right now. Knight going to flash forward for the solo kill in the middle lane. Flash out for the shot, keeping himself alive against the Cataclysm. As Jackie and Rookie make their way in the oh! fight. Over, he'll find the bubble. Uh oh, oh so Clint is beaten. He flashes in front of the battle star to keep his double oh, away. No. He's going to turn up. Can he actually get into the middle? Oh, oh, what the heck? Showmaker is one as White Lotus oh. now exhausted. But a massive scan of the week will find multiple targets. Oh. 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 Hello, I'm Shox and welcome back to Ultimate List, home of LOL Esports' craziest and most legendary moments of all time. This week, we're heading into the mid lane to visit one of the game's deadliest mages, Syndra. In the face of effectively three carry champions, a great start from Jensen, leaping in back with a massive taunt and Jensen grabs the insta double kill, clear up, does not live as Jensen. Since her 2012 release, Syndra has become one of the most popular mid laners in pro play ever. From Worlds to MSI to all of the regional leagues, Syndra has left her mark on nearly every facet of LoL Esports' history. And that's the history we're looking at today as we take a look at, in no particular order, the five most legendary Syndra plays of all time. Starting off today's episode is a play courtesy of the 2019 G2 Super Team, which was also probably the most dangerous Syndra team in the world that year with caps and perks. Even Yanko showed off some Syndra mechanics recently thanks to Viego's passive. Strong had to fight against four. Yankos, the greatest Cinder in the game, apparently, as he manages to get caps a double. A beautiful scatter of the week. But the mastermind behind this legendary Syndra play was Caps, who took control of mid lane with some unbelievable footwork in G2's epic reverse sweep versus Fnatic in the 2019 LEC Summer Split semifinals. Fnatic, they want to go mid, not bot. All right, no flash available. Caps is going to need to find some sort of stun or ultimate. He actually just gets chunked out. Oh, oh, Take a look at that. The hit oh. to shoot, and Caps turns it around. Faced with an incoming tower dive, Caps dodged everything thrown at him. From Broxa's explosive cask and barrel roll to Nemesis's phosphorus bomb and missile barrage, Caps perfectly avoided all of Fnatic's abilities, even finding himself a solo kill too. Top Esports and JDG's rivalry took over the LPL in 2020. Both teams dominated the league last year, meeting in the spring and summer finals. But while JDG won spring, Top Esports were the favorites in summer, with all eyes on their superstar mid laner Knight, who expanded his lane kingdom internationally by winning the midseason cup earlier that year. Though like spring, JDG proved to be a powerful adversary, pushing the summer finals all five games. And in game five, TES took a risk, picking the winless red side and drafting Syndra in response to Yagao's first pick, Zoe. At first, the strategy looked like a dud, with JDG growing a massive gold lead. But at the Elder Drake, Knight validated his Syndra pick by finding the finals winning play through a ridiculous scatter the week. Zoom is on three items as well. He is going to be scary when he hits that Mega Nar form. This time around, he's not exhausted before the fight, oh. but the CC chain is there, and JDG are gone from this one. Thanks to Knight's game-changing play, TES used their newfound momentum to take total control of the map and close out the series, leaving Knight with an LPL title and finals MVP award to add to his trophy case. CLG may not have qualified for the LCS playoffs in 2020 spring, but their mid laner Pobelter definitely made one of the league's hypest plays that split. Just two weeks after rejoining CLG midway through the spring split, Pobelter found himself up against the reigning LCS champions Team Liquid, who he also briefly coached earlier that year. And the reunion resulted in a massive 1v9 carry performance from the notorious POB, who closed out the 50 minute slugfest with an impressive delayed pentakill. Engage in the respawn, 30 seconds away. Yeah, Jensen on the side here is trying to threaten them, but this is very, very scary stuff. If Teal do die here, the game could just end, so Broxa has got to be damn sure if he's going to go in for this attack. Oh, a lot of damage. Tapskill stays alive, but Smoothie's running out of health. The Elder oh, Dragon's still hitting him. He's behind Hope them. is behind. Can he find the stun? He flashes. He gets the Garden Angel. He gets the Elder Dragon. Oh he gets my the God. He's going to get the triple as well. Team Liquid will... 
Finding CLG the opening to start Elder after eliminating Impact's Orn, Pobelter then picked off Core JJ's Brown while just barely surviving Jensen's burst as Victor. Thanks to his TP, Pobelter could finally secure his team the objective with a beautiful flank to take down the rest of TL. 2015 was arguably Faker's most dominant year in pro play, winning nearly everything that season, including a world championship. And re-watching Faker's games from back then, it's easy to see why. He was simply unstoppable. For example, take Faker's Syndra performance against KT Rolster in the LCK's first ever telecom war. KT tried to neutralize Faker's impact by camping him early, but the mid lane legend still ended up 1v9ing the game by pulling off one of the craziest Syndra plays ever. Laid down orbs, there's the ult on the Nogne now. Oh, and a nice Faker nice with stun. the plays on the Nogne. That is Faker. Wow. This is Faker, guys. This is Faker. What began as SKT salvaging a failed Baron attempt turned into Faker single-handedly taking the lead from KT. First flashing to ult LeBlanc, then using his ult's lingering dark spheres to stun LeBlanc and Sivir, completing the double kill with his Q and W. And finally, for the last spot on this list, we asked you, the viewers, what the most epic Syndra play of all time was. And the most posted play was from none other than the LCS's Syndra master himself, Bjorkson. But for this highlight, we're traveling back eight years to Europe's 2013 spring split when the LEC was still known as the EU LCS and where Bjorkson made his rookie debut on the Copenhagen Wolves. Though Bjorkson's debut was less than ideal. The Copenhagen Wolves started the year 0-9 in the standings with Bjorkson unable to play with the team for the first few weeks of the split. But that losing streak ended in week four when Bjorkson popped off versus against all authority as Syndra, leading the Copenhagen Wolves to their first win of the split with some fantastic team fighting, which culminated in the league's first ever pentakill. Being absolutely destroyed as Fence Current comes in as well. There was the Lulu ultimate, it wasn't used earlier on. Bjergsen is going to kill Virtual though. Freddy going low, Nigod Pro going low. No, no, he's finished off. Karalias and Freddy are the only two men left alive here. God Pro is still somehow alive in this one as he flings Freddy away again. Can we see a for a kill? Can he get the Penta kill here? Bjergsen chasing down. Oh, he's missing just about, but there's Give it to Penta! Penta kill coming in for Bjergsen. Finding the league's first Penta at just 17 years old, I guess that Bjergsen kid had a pretty bright future ahead of him. I'm Shox and we've come to the end of this week's episode of Ultimate List. Do you have any recommendations of topics we can cover in future episodes or perhaps there was a Syndra play you think was snubbed? Let us know in the comments down below or hit us up on Twitter at Lolisports. Later everyone!